Hello and welcome to Fridays with Brandon. Today what we're going to talk about on Fluke Fridays, episode number 59, is the laser distance meters and a Q&A. So, we'll jump right into it. Thanks for joining and I hope you had a great week. So, why are we talking about the laser distance meters from Fluke? Had a cus uh, had a viewer that had asked to cover these, so I thought I'd, I'd talk about them and kind of why people use them and why electricians find them valuable, what their applications are, and what are the models available in the US. I'm based in the US, so I think that Fluke might sell different models in different places in the world, but this is what we sell here in the US. So in the US, we sell a Fluke 424D, the higher end one, this guy, and we'll take a closer look at this. And we also sell a Fluke 417D, I'll tell you some of the differences between the two and what I know from experience and who was buying this previous when we had some more models and what was important to some of the customers. So let's jump into it. So if you look at these, you know, it, they look pretty similar to other ones on the market and it's a very kind of a me too product from the fluke world, but you push the button, measure button, got the laser going. Yeah, click it a second time, it'll give you a distance reading. I'm in the US, so I think in feet and inches, but you can t change this to metric world as well. So nine inches, nine and seven eighths inches for that one. If we go to the wall, you can kind of see a little further. And you can see this one, it's got a big display and you can kind of see a running list of your different, that one must have went through my fingers. Um, a running list of your previous measurements okay so that's kind of cool why would somebody use this well if you want to know how much distance you've got from point A to point B that that's kind of what you're going to use for this application but the next and and this the 417d does the exact same thing for that application the next application is only on the 4 24D and I find that this application is very valuable for those um, network folks that need to run no more than 300 feet for an Ethernet run uh, so that they don't lose data and don't lose power over Ethernet and things like that. And that would be the adding function, which I really like this. So if we take that and we just hit the plus sign, we're going to add to that. We can add another little chunk. And so we added, you know, nine inches to the first one and had a total of this. We can do add again, do a little further this time. And you can see it was two feet and we just keep adding and adding. All right, another two feet. So this, why that would be valuable is if you're running um, well, anything that you really want to know how far a wire run needs to be specifically on that. IT side of things for the Ethernet cable, you just click the first run, walk over to that post, hit the plus button, go up to the ceiling, hit the plus button, walk to the next area, so on and so forth. So you can kind of walk your way around a plant or whatever facility you're in and get to the total distance of your cable run or your conduit run. Um, so that, that I think is a cool f step. This one has a bunch of other things where you can calculate height, um, area, and volume square footage uh, the 4 417d can do can calculate square footage but I don't think it can calculate it can't add up so you just are going to get line of sight shot or square footage that's kind of the differences um, super basic easy to use it has memory it has some more advanced functions I've not ever seen anybody do more than kind of what I just did um, but if you use the 424D and you have a feature you really like that's valuable for a Fluke customer, put that in the comments below and other people can benefit from it. Okay, enough on the uh, laser distance meters. You can find those at pretty much any distributor. So, on to the question and answers. This is the um, fun part because I get to interact more with what you guys are asking. So this is from Mark J a couple days ago and he was watching a few of the videos on the Fluke 378 FC clamp meter and uh, I have a playlist. I'll probably link it in the comments below if I remember when I'm editing 
Uh, so you can check that out below or you can search my playlist on my channel and you'll find this. But the 378, it's the one that has field sense and can measure both voltage and current at the same time. So if you go into field sense mode, it can measure AC current and AC voltage at the same time all through the jaws with the black lead, the common lead connected to a ground. So it kind of does some magic. You clamp around, you have the black lead on the ground and you just clamp on the energized circuit and you get voltage and current at the same time. Okay. So now you kind of know what these questions are based on. It says, can AC amps or current measurements be taken without field sense function? For example, like the 376. Okay, I missed his intro. He said, hey Brandon, if you don't mind, I have a few questions. I wasn't sure if you covered in the 378 videos. So that was his, his first question though was, can you measure AC current without field sense? Uh, so can you do that just on its own um, like the 378 does? And the answer is yes, and there's a couple ways that you can do that. One is going into field sense mode. If you don't connect the black test lead to ground, the only thing that's going to do is it's not going to give you AC voltage. It's still going to measure AC current just like your 376 would do with the jaws. Okay, That's one way you can measure AC current. The other way you can measure AC current is flipping over to field sense and using this flexible CT accessory that comes with it. Plug that into the bottom and then you're going to get AC current. Okay, so two ways you can measure AC current with this. One is with the jaws and you would go into field sense mode, but without connecting the black common lead, it will just not give you any reading for the voltage or you'll ignore that and it'll give you AC current reading. And if you wanted to see, um, I believe, yeah, if I hit this function key, we could do AC current. Here, let me turn the backlit screen on so it's easier to see. Uh, you could see AC current and frequency instead of voltage, and that would just be with the jaws, right? Okay, so that's the first question. The second question was, it says, Mark says, I have an Amprobe line splitter. I think I've seen shown those in a couple videos before. Actually, I've got one right here. Something like this is what he's talking about. An Amprobe line splitter. Oh, oh this is a the old kind meter tech, but the Amprobe looks the exact same. Basically, you plug this in into an extension cord or an outlet, you plug whatever you're gonna load, a toaster or whatever, on this end, and then you've got the ability to clamp with your clamp meter around true 1x, or if it's a super small current, you could do 10x, so you get more resolution on your meter when you're measuring current. And then you've got these two little holes for your voltage leads. So you can take these and just put them down in to measure your voltage. So you can measure both voltage and current using this line splitter. So he said he's he's got one of these, right? And he's wondering if both amps and voltage can be measured simultaneously providing the clamp jaws are in the correct area of the splitter. That's obvious. You've got you would have to get it around the right spot or you wouldn't get current at all. And if so, can I use the included alligator clips on the receptacle cover screw for grounding or even the black lead probe um, into the ground hole of the outlet? Okay, so there's a lot to unpack there and there's about five answers to it, not really, but there's a couple answers to it. So the answer, the first answer is, could you, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, okay, could I take, well, his first question was, can I take this and get voltage and current at the same time on the 378? The answer is yes, but only with field sense. So you can't measure AC voltage with the test leads and use the AC current with the jaws and see them displayed on the screen at the same time. There is an Amprobe uh, clamp meter that will do that. I think, ooh, I'm testing my, um, it's a 
12 AC, AC DC 14 Pro or I, I don't know. I'll put it in the link below. I'll remember, I'll look it up and I'll put it in the link below. And that one, you do have the ability to hook on with your test leads, measure voltage, clamp on with your clamp at the same time and see both on the display at the same time. The 378 does not have that functionality. You can't use contact voltage and the clamp at the same time and see it. You would have to use field sense to calculate voltage for you if you want to look at them at the same time. So that is the only way you can do them simultaneously. The next question was, can you use this to potentially measure current? Well, so you could measure current, obviously, and you could technically take the black test lead, you know, plug it into the bottom here, and take this and uh, put it on your neutral side, right? And you could clamp over and you could see what you can get. And I'll actually try that and see what we do. So I'll, I'll take you over here so you can see it. And you'll notice, yuch, that yes, I can kind of do it. I get that green backlit screen, but I only get 90 volts. And the reason is, is because this is supposed to be, the wire needs to be way up in these jaws, right up in there, right? So if, if you were clamping on an energized circuit, you want it up in that saddle. And because of the plastic right here, the jaw can't get close enough to that wire. So as a result, your voltage reading is going to be off if you're using that line splitter with, um, with the line splitter with the field sense. So I wouldn't recommend it, it would be my answer. Uh, if you, you know, and then, then yeah, and then the other thing he asked was, well, on an outlet itself, could I use the alligator clips to clamp to the screw? Yeah, I mean, as long as you're getting a ground connection, and you don't even have to be connected to the ground at that outlet. You could go clip to an I-beam or a, the frame of the building. Um, if if the frame is a metal for a door frame, you could just clip to the uh, the the hinge and then clamp around an energized circuit, and it would give you it would calculate your uh, voltage for you. So hopefully that's helpful. That line splitter is not how I would recommend measuring using field sense. I would just use, I might go into the field sense mode, but only look at the current and frequency, not the voltage side, because the voltage will be off, because you can't get the wire right up in the saddle like it needs to be. And then the last question, question number three is, to your knowledge, is this model made in the USA. So that's the 378. And to my knowledge, it is not. I believe it is made in China. Um, most of the high volume stuff from Fluke will you'll see in China. But you'll see also see uh, some of the higher end stuff. A lot of it's made in Europe. Some is in the US. I think the three or the uh, 875 is still made in the US. The flagship multimeter. And th there's a couple others. But uh, hopefully that, that answers everybody's question. And I hope you guys had a wonderful week. Have a great weekend. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. I'd love to get to those questions. They really help the videos be more entertaining for me at least. And yeah, subscribe, you know, the usual things. Take care and have a great weekend.